Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the Communist States of America. Alright, so before we get started today, uh, one thing that I've missed for a couple episodes to do here is that our trade is actually going through the English Channel right now. Uh, it just shows you how little the enemy, uh, the British uh, specifically, seem to care about convoy raiding because yeah, they could be raiding all these convoys here, uh, our aluminum and our chromium and steel. Uh, that we're getting from the Soviet Union, but they are not. Uh, we don't want them going there. We're actually going to shut down uh, all trade going through the Bay of Biscay. So that should should change that up, and should might actually result in us not getting any trade. Actually, uh, not entirely sure. Uh, I suppose we'll we'll find out here. Let's see. Uh, it seems we're still getting the trade from the Soviet Union. Uh, is it going through here? Perhaps not entirely sure. Can you actually see what's going through there? That might just be supply, actually. Yeah, I can't really, it's not really showing me what's going through there for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know where it ended up going through. Because uh, I'm not seeing it down here. It must be going around this way? No. I, I don't even know where it's going through, honestly. Maybe it is going through... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Um, yeah, because I'm not seeing, like, trade there. But we're still getting trade, I believe. Uh, no issues, so yeah, we'll just take it as it being fixed. Alright, fantastic. Alright, so we did sink some convoys over here. Uh, we know we they're continuing to sink those British convoys there. Uh, got a battle over here against 206 Japanese convoys. They're probably trading with the Allies for a lot of resources right now. And we're just sinking them left and right. That's got to be causing issues for them. Uh, you also notice that they are having some strength issues uh, along the border. The Japanese are lacking strength in many of these, these areas. Uh, a lot of our guys are lacking organization, so I won't do any attacks yet. Uh, I'm probably not going to be focusing too much on this front, guys, because I really want to get this here wrapped up. Um, but before we can do that, there's something that we have to do, guys. Uh, we need to get uh, Mark Clark's army. Uh, we're going to put these tanks over here because what we're going to use them for isn't going to be... He's not going to need tanks. Uh, I don't know if he has... Nah, he has no upgrades available. Uh, we're going to be moving Mark Clark's army. Is he in a coastal province? He is. We're going to be moving them to the Panama Canal. Because, and is that really the quickest way to go, guys? Uh, it seems like it'd be quicker to take 100% chance of being detected and intercepted. All right, well, I guess we'll have them take the railroads then. Have them go to the Panama Canal because we're going to be doing an invasion of Ecuador. Uh, they joined the Polish faction, so therefore they are at war with us, so might as well get them knocked out. Uh, as far as resources go, there's only four oil here, so it's not really all that useful. Uh, but might as well knock out any enemy who decides to join against us. That also gives us a front for if any of the other South American countries decide to join against us uh, to allow us to invade uh, them. Because we only have this one one front here right now. Uh, so that's that's good for Ven Venezuela and Brazil. Doesn't really help us out against uh, some of the, the further down uh, South American countries. So that's what we're going to do there. Uh, also, somebody gave us an ideal here, which I thought was just awesome. We need to name all the Tom Cruise ships, the Tom Cruisers. Uh, we need to name them all after uh, Tom Cruise movies. So this one's going to be the USS Top Gun. Uh, that's one of the more, probably the most iconic Tom Cruise movie. Uh, it's not personally my favorite Tom Cruise movie. Um, Top Gun's an alright movie, I suppose. Uh, I liked it when I was younger, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch it. I don't, I don't sit around on my Saturdays watching Top Gun. Uh, I know that some people are going to think that's heresy. Some people are mad Top Gun fans. I've met him before. Uh, if you tell him anything other than it's the greatest movie ever, then they get very offended. Uh, but but yeah, it's not my favorite uh, Tom Cruise movie. But it's the most iconic, so I figured we'd name it name it that one. Uh, and then maybe we'll name some more modern Tom Cruise movies for the next sh uh, Tom Cruisers whenever we get those. Uh, speaking of ships, we do need to design our ships, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and start this out by doing a basic cruiser. All right, so this is going to be our basic like cruiser. Uh, as far as, you know, we'll just keep it on this for designs, I guess. Because it uh, doesn't really matter. Because uh, we're not going to be actually building any of these. Uh, and I'm just selecting all kinds of stuff I don't want to. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the, the most basic things that we're going to want on all of our cruisers. Uh, and that's going to be, I, I want to say it's the dual purpose guns. No, no, that's for the destroyers. Uh, light cruiser batteries here. Uh, threes, we're waiting on those. We got those done. So we're going to get the anti-air threes. We know we're going to want those on all of them. Here we have to do something, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, because I don't actually want these in all of my uh, ships, but you can't can't save it without without completing that, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna have to get something here, uh, and I suppose we'll go with for yeah this. We'll just go with this one. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's do this owner because I don't know what level I want there. Uh, let's go with radar here. Change up the engines. 
get uh, dual purpose secondaries, and then get uh, probably probably just gonna fully armor these. I don't know why we wouldn't fully armor our light cruisers. Uh, speed's gonna be fine, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is this is looking pretty squared away. We'll go ahead and make sure they they sit at historical light cruisers, and then we're gonna save this. We're not gonna be building any of those, but what we're gonna be doing with it is just trying to save experience. So now we'll be able to modify this basic light cruiser, uh, and you know just change the top ones. Uh, so let's duplicate that, and then we're gonna want to get uh, our well, how much experience do we have? We don't have a lot of experience. I'm gonna see if I can't get get something done here. Uh, I think we should probably do the support light cruiser first. Yeah, that makes more sense uh, since it's the main thing I use the screens for. Uh, so let's do the support light cruiser first, uh, and we will want. I think we're just gonna load it up with like anti-air and, and 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 detections and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know that I'm gonna build a dedicated recon ship. If I did, it wouldn't be a light cruiser though. Uh, so yeah, this one's gonna have the sonar on it. We are gonna have depth charges on there. So let's put some good depth charges. In fact, we might have a couple depth charges. Then I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's do a couple of these. Uh, anti-air is looking squared away. I think I think that's probably good. Uh, I want to get aircraft facilities on here though. For detection yeah let's do that and then for the last one it's really a matter of if we want more detection or do we want more anti-air uh, just looking at the anti-air uh, we'd be able to increase it up to 15.8 that does affect the speed a bit or we could instead put the aircraft facilities on here and get surface detection up you know guys I've changed my mind here I don't think we need this many depth charges that's what our destroyers do we're gonna have one just so they can attack uh, submarines if need be but yeah I don't I don't think we need that many on here honestly yeah I think instead it'd be better to, to put more uh, both of the things I want anti-air and the additional uh, sub uh, surface detection yeah I think that this looks pretty good guys uh, and we're gonna go ahead and change them up uh, let's give them let's give them the air icon because that's really what they do here uh, more anti-air than anything else 15.8 anti-air pretty damn good uh, and this is this is squared away for our support cruisers. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything else with them, I think. Yeah, this is this is it. Uh, so let's go and save it. And that's that's all of our experience. Uh, so yeah, we won't be able to do uh, the next line of cruisers, but at least we're getting something here. We're getting something done. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop these up to the top here, uh, right above these guys. And in fact, we're gonna actually want to make sure that we say that the uh, old light cruisers are obsolete, the support ones anyway. All right, and then just have them do build one of these and then we'll have uh, all those those dockyards go to the uh, the next model all right so that's looking fantastic in fact I would love to uh, decrease the amount of uh, convoys uh, we're building feels like we're pretty much good on that so let's go and pull those back a bit yeah I like this and then once we finish this ship here we might end up actually building another capital ship yeah pulling more from the the convoys and building another capital ship I think that that'd be nice uh, we're good on steel. I think we're doing something about that. I could be wrong. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we are not doing anything about the steel. So I am wrong. So <laughs> we're gonna have to trade. Trade with the Soviet Union for it. Give me some more steel, please. Thank you. All right, so now we can actually get started. So we got these guys invading here. This is uh, obviously the major focus of this episode is gonna be the invasion of Japan because if we can get them knocked out of the war, uh, then our attempts to engage them, our failed attempts to engage them in the seas are going to be completely irrelevant. It's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, because they're going to be capitulated. Now, they're still going to have their navy, obviously. And yeah, we are bombing these ships that are over here. There's there's some ships here, uh, even if we can't really detect them. Uh, they're here. Uh, and I would have loved to have gotten some decisive battles, guys. Look at that, 17. Uh, Japanese convoy sunk. Uh, I would have loved to have gotten a really cool, like, decisive battle against... And there we go, sunk a light cruiser with just our planes. Uh, but a nice, nice uh, decisive battle against the the Japanese Navy would have been fun, would have been awesome, but just not able to engage them. Uh, a lot of people, specifically in the Japanese series more than this one, have been saying that the problem is that I need a dedicated recon ship uh, that needs to, you know, a dedicated recon ship that will use to, let's just go up this way, to find the enemy. Uh, but I don't actually think that's the issue guys. I don't think that the fact is not just being able to find them uh, The Japanese series definitely we, the, the the American Navy isn't even in the Pacific uh, But even here uh, a part of it of course is you know that maybe we can't find them uh, But I, I don't know man. It, it feels like it's it's the aggression settings uh, when I look at them 
maybe it's because they had more ships there so we weren't engaging them because we're sitting at medium risk maybe they're not they're trying to avoid us uh perhaps and maybe that's that's one reason uh this series maybe it's it's the spotting they're not spotting them uh, and that's the problem uh, but i think more than anything i think the system's broke guys i'm i'm inc incredibly disappointed with the 1.6 ai it is just absolute garbage uh, this is two campaigns now where they have allowed me to just dominate the seas, even if they have the superiority when it comes to ships. Uh, two campaigns now where naval invasions have been just completely uncontested. Uh, I've been able to invade, you know, American homeland before, between Alaska or, uh, or or Hawaii in that Japanese series. Uh, here we just invaded Japan with absolutely no resistance, nobody attempting to stop us. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know, the previous Japan and American uh, campaigns I had, it was far more of a, of a battle uh, of the Pacific where they were defending islands. We had big naval battles. Uh, it was just way better. Uh, I just don't think it's working properly. And I didn't see anything about the 1.6.1 patch actually fixing that. So that's kind of a problem, guys. Uh, once again, the AI is kind of fell on us. Uh, just, just terrible. Just not very good. Uh, which is a shame. Yes, we were going down this to get the experience. Now I remember. Yeah, that gives us more military factories too. But really, I want the experience. Uh, so we just got a bunch of military factories, uh, and we are extremely short on resources. Did they shut my convoys down? Did my trade get shut down? Uh, that's what it looks like. Maybe trade got shut down completely. Let's just take a look at that because I need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Yeah, maybe. I couldn't find out where they were going, so that would make sense, where they are going through. Uh, yeah, we're just not getting any trade because our naval trade efficiency is 0%. Yeah, honestly, guys, I don't I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, like, I don't I don't understand why they can't trade through here, uh, through this this port here to get... They, they, they feel like they have to go, the trade has to go through this way. Uh, and shutting it down uh, through, you know, both, you know, the northern route and the Mediterranean route has apparently caused issues. So we're going to open up the Mediterranean because the British don't actually have access to the Mediterranean. Uh, so I would assume they can't really have too many ships here and you can see that they don't yeah There's like 13 enemy ships here uh, they, they just can't be possibly operating out of here very efficiently, you know with Italy You know, they still have a large Navy and I'm sure that they're kind of sticking to the Mediterranean Yeah, I just don't see that the British uh, being in there uh, with them being completely shut out uh, from that area because of Spain and the Italians being successful in North Africa. So we're going to open up trade there, and then hopefully yeah, trade should go through there, and that should you know fix our supply issues, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it didn't fix it, uh, interestingly enough. Yeah, we're just going to... Okay, we just got to do this now because it got messed up. And uh, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> just want to go up one and down one. There we go. And then same thing here get these fixed they might have fixed themselves eventually but yeah i didn't want to be having any kind of issues stopping our production for a little while uh so we do have military factories we're so stacked on military factories and frankly uh yeah i mean it's it's not an issue at all equipment's not a problem uh so really it's just experience to be able to design our divisions that's really what the main issues that has been for us uh let's go and build more light tanks if we're not already building you're already building a ton all right well let's go and start working on getting like a large stockpile of uh the light tanks then or the medium tanks stuff then build out these build out those as well all right that's gonna require more steel of course as always and we'll just have to manually click, click, click this here there we go excellent so let's see what we can do with our experience uh, i think we already finished these of course we still need to make like 40 combat with divisions before we go to europe that probably be a good idea. uh marines are finished we need to do the mountain troops i think next uh that's the main yeah one that we haven't done yet so let's go and take care of these these guys are just absolutely terrible uh so let's give them mountain battalions and then we don't have enough experience to do anything else all right well that's fine uh, we're still building divisions as well. Uh, are we able to build more marines? We cannot. We've hit our special forces cap. All right. Well, this will work then. I suppose if we have the infantry equipment, which I'm pretty sure we do, we'll build some more of those out. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So let's go ahead and see how we're doing in the Japanese front here. Make sure that we continue to advance. I'm trying to cut those Japanese troops off. We just need to hurry up and get down here. And any Japanese troops that go here will be... Uh, cut off from supply. I'd like to get around these guys if possible. So let's see if we can't not have it late Let's not attack across rivers. No, let's pull this back. Come on guys, and let's just not do whatever you're trying to do Let's do this different Let's go around them and cut them off so we can destroy them 
Uh, these guys will be cut off here momentarily as soon as we get across the river. Uh, not really getting myself too distracted with this situation over here, guys. Uh, though, this would be really beneficial for helping with, because then we'd get any troops that are here cut off. It looks like they know that, and they're, some of them are pulling back, perhaps. Uh, so we'll go and attack over that way. And starting to get a lot more troops over here. Excellent. Starting to really build out this front a bit. Uh, and it looks like we also advanced here. Let's see if we can't cut these guys off right here. This could also result in us getting cut off. I don't know, but we'll see what we can do there. Uh, and can we win here? We cannot. All right, so probably not going to work. But we'll try and see if we can't get around these guys. Make that shit happen. Uh, and how are we doing over here? Did we cut these guys off? We did. Excellent. Let's go and get them destroyed now. And then same thing here. Let's grab this territory here. And then, yeah, you guys can come over here as well. Let's grab up uh, all this territory here. Get all these divisions wiped out. And you guys are going to come up over this way. And it looks like we're having some more resource issues. Uh, the Philippines wants to send us some equipment. Ah, no, I don't need infantry equipment. It's too easy to build, honestly. All right, so we have taken that. Let's go and start pushing forward over here. And then we're going to have these guys attack right here. Get these this one Japanese division destroyed. Uh, so we don't have to fight them all the way down the, uh, the coast of Japan here. Uh, and I don't know how many divisions they're even going to have uh, to defend against us. Uh, sunk 17 convoys. Uh, they're Chinese convoys there. Uh, so just winning the convoy game easily. Uh, I, I don't know if we've impacted Japan at all uh, with our convoy rating. Last time we looked, we had not uh, impacted enough to actually bring war support down. Yeah, it's just not enough. Uh, but we are impacting the British. Uh, and it looks like we'll be impacting the Chinese as well because we're sinking a ton of Chinese convoys. Uh, and nobody has that high war support quite like uh, Japan does. They got that insanely high war support. All right, so all these guys, let's give them a front. And we'll go ahead and give them a line as well, although it's probably just going to get messed up once we get over here. But that's fine. Uh, so they're attempting to stop us. They're not going to be able to. They don't have the, the division numbers, I don't think, in their homeland. I'm sure that the majority of Japanese divisions are probably over here, and I would be shocked if the AI actually pulled uh, back from here like they probably should. Uh, I'd be really, really surprised if they they did it. They pulled troops from the mainland to defend their homeland. Uh, they never seem to do that. All right, so they're attacking us across here. They won't win. And then we're going to advance with our seven divisions. We might be able to do this with seven divisions, guys. This would not surprise me if we were able to conquer Japan with seven divisions before the rest of the divisions even get here. Uh, remember, we're sending a lot more. It's a full 24 division army that we're sending here. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we'll even need them. We're still waiting to get them here, but we can go ahead and get the naval invasion ready. Uh, though I don't know how many will actually be able to go, if any, uh, because we've got these other naval invasions planning. We should probably launch those, uh, and we are starting to sink some Japanese ships here, so this is really nice. Destroyers getting sunk here uh, with just fairly little loss of life. Oh, we actually had a battle here for once. Yeah, look at our fleet got engaged in this. It took a little bit of damage on that destroyer. Uh, we sunk six destroyers there, so we had our first little fleet battle against their, their escorts. Is that the first time we battled with the Japanese Navy? Sure feels like it. I may be misremembering, but... Yeah, it seems like that's the first time. Oh, yes, I forgot. I actually wanted to send some some uh, planes over there. I think we have some training here. Uh, let's let them get up to the, the first experience rank. I won't go, let them go all the way up, just so they're not getting that penalty anymore, the negative 25% penalty for being uh, terrible. Uh, so let's get you guys going this way. You guys going that way. Let's get us an air base here so that we'll have air support. I don't even know if we're going to need it, honestly. We'll probably pull planes from over here, though, uh, because obviously this is a more important front at the moment. Let's see if we can't get behind these guys. And Mark Clark falls ill. Oh, no, probably because he went... Because we sent him to South America, man. He done drank some dirty water or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's a malaria? Good God. Yeah. Anytime you go to the jungle, man, it's just a good way to get sick. Uh, especially if you don't live in that area. So we got the advanced fire control systems. Excellent. Uh, and we're going to go in and get... Oh, I guess we're done. We're done here. Uh, we already got... Yeah, we got everything researched in here. Uh, I think industrial, we have one going to industrial. We'll, we'll come over here to assembly line production after that one's done. I know that we need like a ton of stuff. Uh, doctrines, obviously. We're good on the planes. Are we, do we have all the components that we want over here? Yeah, I want to say that we can get a couple more things over here. We're getting submarines. We'll get the snorkels after we get the submarines. Uh, and then I want to say, yeah, we could do these bonuses as well right now if we wanted to make our ships even more efficient. I, I think we should uh, get these passive bonuses. Or we could do doctrines too. That's an option as well. Let's get the the ship bonuses here. Let's do 
Yeah, we could do the heavies. I think we're mostly fighting light light ships, though, so that might actually be more beneficial. Yeah, you know what? This is probably more beneficial. That's what we're fighting. Though 153 days. Good God. Uh, these take fucking forever. All right, well, whatever. We need to get them. Make our navies even better. I always want to have, like, two techs right now going towards navies until, you know, the navies don't become as important anymore, which is basically once we've uh, gotten our troops uh, onto European soil. Essentially, at that point, navies become a little bit less uh, important. Uh, and it does seem that, once again, we have dockyards. Okay, excellent. Uh, did we finish up that? We did. We finished up that light cruiser. All right, so that is where the dockyards went. So we're going to want to go ahead and get another uh, capital ship. Uh, let's do... Let's do another carrier uh, initially, I think. Uh, do we want to make any adjustments to them? Do we have the best stuff here? Uh, we could give them radar. We didn't do that last time because we kind of decided we we're going to depend on other things for radar. You know what? I think these are pretty squared away. Uh, why increase production even by a little bit uh, if we don't need to? Yeah, these are good. We don't have to redesign it. We don't have to spend our experience. So let's get another Essex carrier here. I like me some carriers, guys. So let's... Get pumped up the top. I think we also need to set these guys to go to the training fleet as well. Uh, and the other the, uh, cruisers that we built. We didn't set those to go to the training fleet either. Uh, let's take a look and see if the training fleet is done. Yeah, we have uh, a destroyer and a submarine. Excellent. Let's go and pull the submarine out. And we'll just have these guys merge with these submarines here. And then the uh, destroyers. Let's pull these guys out. And where do we need to destroy the most? Uh, probably helping out. Uh, trying to locate enemies. I think that would be the best uh, place to put them. Uh, so I think we're building uh, another... Yeah, we're building another one out here. They have, certainly have six ships. So let's go and give them another sh uh, destroyer. Here you go. Nimitz. And Ace Pot promoted. Excellent. Do we have any resource issues? Yeah, we do. We got steel problems. All right. I didn't expect to have steel issues as America, honestly. But yep, that's definitely been a reality. Uh, let's go and get these troops here cut off, uh, and we'll just go and wrap that up since there's nobody there. We need to get more troops over here. We're still waiting on on a lot of the troops here. Uh, they might have a few more divisions than I was expecting, honestly. Uh, I suppose we'll find out here momentarily. Uh, if they start pumping a lot of divisions to the uh, to this front, then we'll know. Uh, these guys are pretty low. Let's just have them go forward. I don't think that they'll be able to win. Maybe. Yeah, they can win even though they got low organization, but let's just wait. Unless they start attacking, there's real no, no reason to. Let's get the rest of these troops over here. Let's bring these guys as well. Let's have you guys cut them off right there. We're actually going to have to launch an attack with these guys just to stop them from moving. And they are starting to go forward, so we're going to have to attack them now. I didn't want to, but we've got to. We do have free civilian factories, uh, getting these military factories built out. Uh, fantastic. Uh, let's take a look at how we're 129 military factories right now, and we're about to get, uh, what's that, five more? Yeah. Uh, well, let's do one more military factory. And right here. And then the, we're going to build some dockyards, guys. Uh, yeah, I think that would be the best option for us, is more dockyards. Uh, and maybe the west coast. Oh, damn you. <laughs> right here. And right there on the 60%. Excellent. Let's take that down to the bottom. And looking squared away, guys. Is there anything we need to be concerned about over here? All right, 30 freight convoys there, uh, and let's take a look over here. Just five freight convoys there. All right, also, uh, we have another destroyer that's done. Uh, he is damaged, though, but let's go ahead and take him, and let's have him go to uh, this fleet. Just trying to get these guys built out, uh, the Pacific fleet. Because even though we get the Japanese to capitulate, they'll still have their fleet out there uh, running around. Acting like some hooligans. Let's just keep on pushing pushing forward here. Grabbing victory points. Getting these guys uh, defeated. And you guys are going to push forward here. Alright, so those guys are now cut off. Uh, once they get it to here, let's have them attack. Wrap that up. Uh, you guys keep on pushing forward, please. In fact, you guys are going to go all the way over here. Have these guys go this way instead. Alright, so yeah, I think, I think Japan's going to... Uh, be pushed out of the conflict here way quicker than we were expecting. Uh, they didn't defend their coastline. That is just ridiculous. They dominated these seas. They have way more ships than we do over here. There's absolutely no reason why this should have happened. Uh, we should not be on Japanese soil right now. They could easily have defended it. Uh, and it just, uh, I don't know, it's just not not good game design, guys. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like what's happened in the patch. Uh, I think it's just not 
well done uh, with the with how they had the AI uh, operate with this new new system. It needs some some kinks uh, fixed because it's got some major issues. And I'm just gonna move straight towards Tokyo here, guys. These ones can come ramp up the back end here. Probably not a lot of a lot more troops over here. We see some right there. Uh, so we know that there's at least a few more defending. Uh, and we can deploy some units here. Oh, yeah, the Tropic Thunder. We never actually got these guys set. I don't think I've been setting any of them, actually. Uh, so let's go and get that fixed. Uh, we're going to get all these guys set to train. Uh, and not the cab troops, though. The rest of them are set. All right, awesome. Uh, these guys, we're just going to have them deploy... Nah, it doesn't matter. To Arizona, and then let's just deploy them. Oh, looks like we deployed... All right, that's fine. So, the cavalry troops, let's just throw them into the uh, army that will be used for garrisons, and that does mean we're going to want to start garrisoning some stuff uh, here in Japan. So, do they have a garrison? Or yeah, they're garrisoning uh, Canada right now. So, let's go ahead and have them garrison Japan. Just start getting them going across the seas. And we also have a military factory, probably something that we seized from Japan. All right, let's put them into... I always need more tactical bombers at this point. Uh, did we ever finish training these tactical bombers up? Let's just take a look. Seems like there's always something we need to do. We did. This is good enough. Let's have them deploy over to this air base I built specifically for them. And then we're going to want them to do naval strikes. Over here, though, doesn't seem that they're going to be close enough. Oh, well, that's a shame. Well, I think that's because they have... I think it's... No, they have the B-23s. All right, let's let them move there, see if that changes. I thought they would have been able to cover at least part of that region. Uh, maybe not, though. Sunk a light cruiser and destroyer. Uh, another destroyer there. And more destroyers here uh, that we're currently bombing. And do they have fleets over here? Yeah, they still don't have fleets over here. Yeah, they just got their fleets patrolling. I don't even know where the damn Japanese fleet is. There's 185 ships there. Just patrolling here for what reason? To do what? What are they supposed to be doing there? Because I'm not seeing them doing anything. The only thing they're really doing is stopping us from doing naval invasions, I suppose. I can't do these damn naval invasions because they won't uh, won't engage me. But other than that, yeah, they don't really do anything. I, I don't know what the strategy is here. Let's have these guys take this island. Clearly, they don't have much of a strategy. It's just like, well, let's, let's let the Americans conquer all our lands. So, we got construction. Excellent. Uh, and let's get excavation since that's really going to help. Resources are continuing to be a problem for us. I uh, just got to trade with the Soviet Union. Didn't expect to say that, that I have resource issues as uh, as America. But yeah, that's that's been a problem. Uh, in fact, it looks like we're actually trading for more steel than we need. Though we should probably go ahead and assign these military factories because that might end up changing. Uh, yeah, we're pretty stacked on just about everything. I guess we should probably build some more light tanks out. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, and let's get more fighters as well. We're just going to pump a bunch towards fighters here. Uh, in fact, let's also do more towards close air support. That is going to require lots of more aluminum from the Soviets. Uh, we almost maxed them out. We'll have to start trading with somebody else. And we don't need this still, so we can pull that back a bit. All right, excellent. Taking a look here. Uh, five more convoys sunk. Lovely. Taking a while to get these guys destroyed, a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, there's two divisions there, but we just wrapped them up, so we're going to be getting their assistance here momentarily. Uh, and you guys, yeah, go to Tokyo. Tokyo is almost in our hands. Uh, we probably will have to conquer the majority of Japan, maybe all the way down to Nagasaki, uh, to get them to capitulate. Uh, so, oh, they do have divisions here. They must have just sent, sent them here as well, because uh, they're in the port. Uh, so, they do have divisions. It's good to know, I guess. <laughs> so what we're going to want to do is let's continue. We want to get them completely cut off here. Let's go and streak across the country. Uh, they won't be cut off from supply, of course. And a textbook operations. We have easily taken Tokyo. Uh, no problems at all. We just got a bunch of dockyards from this as well. So now Japanese dockyards are being used to build American ships. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess we do need convoys. We're doing a lot more trading now. I wasn't expecting that to be an issue. Uh, so we'll get more convoys. Uh, and we also need more resources now. I don't think... Yeah, it looks like we would get ripped off on that one. So we're going to have to trade. I guess we're going to have to trade with the French. I really don't like trading with them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to trade with the French. There's no way around it, guys. We need more resources. Uh, rubber, keep trading with the Dutch East Indies. And then steel, 
Uh, the Soviets should have plenty of steel from us, uh, for us. Alright, so, yeah, we'll just cut these guys off, and then we'll have to assault them. They have more divisions there than we have on the entire country right now. We're still waiting on a lot of our divisions to get here. Uh, come on, guys. Come on, you can get out of there. Uh, and they, oh, they might not have been able to move for a little minute there. We did get our submarine holes. Excellent. Let's get the snorkels. Though I don't know when we'll be able to build them, because we still have to get the destroyers before I get new submarines. Oh. Though, I suppose it'd make more sense to get the, uh, uh, the, the destroyers before we got the submarines, considering uh, the fact that we're using the submarines more than we're using the destroyers at the moment. Alright, so you guys are going to wrap this up over here. And I know I'm leaving Tokyo undefended. I'm hoping that this guy will, will be able to get there in time. Uh, get back to Tokyo in time. Uh, I really want to get these troops surrounded because these guys, unfortunately, were not able to do it. They are being attacked right now. Uh, I think those guys might have been taking the railroads or something, though, uh, because their, their organization is looking fairly low. But yeah, right now, this is 11 divisions. Remember, we have, what, like seven on in the entire country right now? So yeah, I don't know how if we'll be able to destroy these guys or not. And that's going to leave some issues. Uh, maybe we can push down the rest of the country and not even fight them? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, just enough troops to defend the surrounding area, which would be one, two, three, four, at least four divisions. Uh, this is hills, mountains, and a city center, so urban center. So they might be able to do it one division at a time, but maybe not. That might not be enough. I might need to leave five divisions back here, and that would leave only two divisions to push forward. Uh, we have troops that are done training. Uh, we actually have Marines that are done training. Maybe I should send the Marines down here to do this assault. Um, they could be the first ones, but these guys are already here. Yeah, Mark Clark's already there. Uh, so instead, let's just move the Marines. There's not really anywhere for them to attack right now, uh, but we'll go ahead and set them up in an army. Uh, and there's one like Marine army. We can always split it up later. You know, I think all the Marines are done training. Yeah, that's 10 Marines. Awesome. Let's go ahead and create a Marine army. Uh, and they're going to look like Marines. And we're going to make them blue. All right, so this has been Marines. Uh, I don't know who's going to be in charge of them just yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's give him... Let's give him Collins. He's got that trickster bonus. And perhaps something else. Oh, he's got Gorilla Fighter that he can get. That's it. Uh, let's give him... Yeah, let's go and give him Collins. And then we're going to go ahead and move these guys over to LA for right now. Uh, the rest of the troops that are done training, let's just put them into that little other army that I have over here. Uh, it's just kind of my extra army for right now, though it does seem these mountain troops do need to get retrained now. Uh, I bet there's actually mountain troops in some of these other armies that could be retrained, or maybe not. Maybe I pulled them all out. Yeah, it seems I did. All right, uh, we've got a battle over here. Uh, those are our submarines. None of them got damaged. Sunk three convoys, though. Excellent. Uh, we did lose a submarine here, though. Uh, that was actually a Japanese uh, plane. I don't know where they launched from. Probably one of these islands over here. Uh, they did sink one of our submarines, unfortunately. These guys did get cut off. Well, that's sad to see. We're going to fix that here momentarily. Looks like they did take Tokyo. That Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the situation here, and we lost Tokyo. Yeah, they're advancing now, uh, so they're actually going to try and stop us. But this is going to allow us to cut them off, guys. So, yeah, it's actually not a bad thing. In fact, it'd probably be better to allow that guy to have that territory. No, no, that wouldn't work. Let's see if we can beat him there. So yeah, we don't have enough divisions here, guys, uh, to take all these these dudes out. So hopefully we can make this happen. Uh, they need to go back to the port. God damn you. All right, I was hoping that I could take their port and get them completely cut off from supply. Uh, but yeah, that didn't end up working for us. And these guys are going to go take that. But maybe we can get these troops cut off. If they go right there, then we're going to take that province right there. And then these guys will be isolated here. That did not work. Uh, so let's go this way. And... We already have somebody grabbing that up. Excellent. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, and then these troops here. Yeah, you guys can go right there. That's that's fine. I really need to pay attention to this so we don't lose our troops here. In fact, I don't want... I want you guys to let them leave. Let them leave. Just let them have it. Pull back and let them have it. Yeah, we are killing a lot, of course, because they're attacking across a river. We're winning that. Uh, but I want to completely destroy them because that's the only way we're going we're to be able to win here because we're outnumbered. Uh, so splitting their forces is for the go, best. Go, go. So we're going to let this guy retreat here. And hopefully he can get over there soon. I don't know how long this is going to take for him to retreat. It looks like a little over a day. All right, so let him retreat. And uh, this guy's going to yeah, he's gonna come up over here. And they just keep on going wherever I go. Damn you. You guys stay here. I did have another naval battle over here. Let's just take a look. Uh, it looks like we actually engaged their ships briefly. Uh, I need to start paying attention to this. We're going to miss like a big naval battle. 
but it's so so hard to like pay attention to it because you got so much going on. Uh, looks like we are spotting an enemy here though, uh, and we sunk another light cruiser. Excellent. Slowly getting there. All their screens destroyed. So if we do engage them, they might not have enough screening. Uh, yeah, look at all these damn ships we're sinking. All right, lots of destroyers, lots of light cruisers. Yeah, we're fucking their screens up. This is also going to allow us to seize control uh, here. They have 176 ships, we have 128. So far, no capital ships that I've seen. Uh, this is 8 to 14 ships. It says there might be some capitals, it probably isn't. Uh, or else we would have seen us doing battle to them. Uh, also, there's a naval invasion over here. Where? Where is it going to? Let's take a look. The Marshall Islands. Uh, so, it could be anywhere over here. We don't have any troops here, so we should probably fix that. Uh, let's see, where are all our, I know that we have like a lot of troops that aren't uh, doing anything somewhere <laughs> that we can move over to here. Where are all those troops that I, I, oh, they're training still. That's where they're at. That makes sense. Well, let's go and move some divisions to these, these islands. We'll just use regular divisions to defend them. Uh, I don't even know if they'll be effective in being able to, uh, oops, you know what? I should probably take a look where these guys are at. All right, they're the, the bottom five. I got it. All right, so this guy's going here. We'll send one here. And just try and protect all of our islands so they're not able to seize them back from us because, yeah, that'd be a pain in the ass having to constantly fight over these damn islands. At least they're launching naval invasions. The AI doesn't really seem to have any issues with the launching of the naval invasions, though. That's not where the problems have been. The problems have been uh, with them defending their territory. Uh, remember, we can do this one as, as well. Uh, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't attack right there now, uh, especially with the Japanese occupied. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and move our, our fleets to cover a bit more, uh, which I think is this fleet right here. They have to cover all that region. I don't know if they're going to succeed or not. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and you know what we should actually do? We should have an airbase built here. And maybe that'll let us provide a little bit of coverage here. Yeah, let's wait. Let's build an airbase here. Take that up to the top. And we could also build up for the resources here so we don't have to have as much rubber. Yeah, that makes sense. We don't have to trade for as much rubber is what I mean. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that up to the top as well. Uh, and what else do we need? Oh, okay. I know what else we need to do. We need to pull these guys out. We don't need to cover all this then until we get the, we're going to wait until we get the, the naval, or the air support, excuse me. So we'll build that up. Once we get air support, then we'll, we'll launch the invasion of Singapore. And besides, we're kind of concentrating on this here. That's something that's going to require a lot of concentration, I think, uh, on our part. Uh, if you guys would just hurry up and move. There you go. Let them go. Let them go. Yes. That's what I want to see. Uh, so actually, no, you guys need to attack here. You guys need to take that. Uh, we're also going to attack with these guys. Just whoever gets there first. Let's take a look. Uh, one day in four hours. And one day in four hours. It doesn't matter. Let's leave the guy in Tokyo then. Although this guy would be able to attack from over there. Um, how about this guy? When does he get there? One day in ten hours. Hmm. Alright. That's fine. We'll just leave it as is. Alright. So look pretty good. Let's see if we can't beat this guy here. We'll get there in one day and two hours. He gets there in two hours. All right, so that's going to work. Not going to work, I mean. So let's go and take that. Can we beat him? Is he taking the railroads? What is he doing? Let's attack him. Yeah, we're going to have to attack him. Uh, so we have to keep our troops here to make sure that they can't leave uh, the port there. Uh, well, I mean, I'd like to, for them to leave the port there, but yeah, it won't work in our favor, I don't think. Uh, also, we had another battle over here. Let's just take a look. Uh, looks like they're bombing our convoys, perhaps. And also a battle up here. Five more convoys there. Uh, just, I like seeing the, what we're doing to the convoys. Uh, it, it gotta be causing some major issues for them. It's such a bummer that I can't get these damn naval invasions done. I almost want to pull the troops off of them, uh, just so that we can send those other troops. Uh, but I guess it's good. Oh, wait, we've got control. Uh, we did it. We bombed enough of them that we either destroyed them or, or they left. Uh, and now we can actually invade over here. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Uh, so this fleet, we're gonna move over to there. Oh, wow, there must be a lot of ships over there. Uh, and then we're going to want to get this fleet going over there as well. And I, I don't feel like we need to cover so many regions. Like, some of these are probably fine. They're not even raiding us right now. So that we can make sure that we keep our patrol fleets, you know, in, in places where we want them. So now we got to try and seize control of the Mariana region. Seems like there's a massive fleet there. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of, a lot of ships there. All right. We do have air support over here, though. Uh, we have, like, 100, uh, na uh, not naval bombers, 100 tactical bombers. And this attack, I think, should lock them down long enough. Yeah, and we're going to get there in mere hours. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so let's keep this guy here. 
this guy can rain here as well. You need to stay here and protect Tokyo. Uh, and make sure he's there as well. Right, let's go and grab that up. Although, I'd love if they retreated there. Let's see if we can't get behind these guys, in fact. Let's go and take that. I was going to grab the victory point, but let's go after cutting these divisions off first. They do have control of the skies here. Uh, that's causing us some penalties, in fact. So we should probably send a little bit of air assistance here, guys. That'd be wise. Uh, yeah, these guys are, are trained up enough, I think. Let's go and send uh, some planes over to assist us. And we'll just put them right here. And we do need to stop them from training, of course. And have air superiority and close air support. Lovely. All right, and we are going to go ahead and get, put more ground crews there as well. Prioritize that. Uh, and I'll probably keep... Uh, I think we're actually having difficulties here. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go and pull back uh, from this region because I don't think we're gonna be able to to do it here. There's just too many too many planes. We're probably losing a lot of planes right now. Uh, let's go and pull back to this region so that I can send my my planes elsewhere. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's pull all the planes over to here, and that'll leave us 600 and 400. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take uh, a little bit of fighters away, I think, uh, or some close air support. Probably a little bit of both actually. Yeah, let's do a little bit of both. Uh, let's move them from this base here, but yeah, let's actually move these guys over to here. And then we'll move these two, or one of them, over to here. Once again, help us seize control of Japan. And then we need a bit of close air support too. Uh, like maybe like this 100 right here. They can help us out. There we go. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Gives us some bonuses. They are winning that attack there. Uh, so that's a shame. We might, in fact, go ahead and put a division over there to kind of help them out. And maybe even attack. Oh, no, they're going to be defending. Yeah, they're about to attack us right there. I think that's what it looks like. Hmm, where the hell are they going? Maybe they're going right there? Not entirely sure. Let's go and attack right there. Uh, just lock them down briefly. Attack across here. Uh, oh, never mind. They're winning now. Uh, they are pushing back. Oh, yeah, they're pushing back. Where are their troops? Oh, they're here. They're just not on the front. I wonder how long they've been here. Get over there, men, quickly. They should all be taking the railroads as well. Let's make sure they are. Uh, yes, they're taking the railroads. I hope they haven't been sitting over there too long. Did I not assign an army commander here? I did not. I didn't know I didn't do that. All right, well, my bad, guys. Uh, yeah, this could have been helping us out. Let's do Leslie McNair. And yeah, these guys are gonna be able to push back over here. Uh, and I don't think we have a port yet. No, we don't. All right, we still need to cut these guys off. Uh, we haven't done that yet. Let's get this wrapped up. Oops. Over there. Let's get this wrapped up over here. Yeah, this is not going to work. Not at all. We'll, we can rotate them. Rotate the attacks on them. Uh, and another naval battle over here. Let's take a look. Is it something big? Uh, just convoys. Did a little bit of damage to some destroyers, though. Are we taking significant damage? We are not. All right. Uh, there's a naval battle off the coast of Japan. It's probably... Yeah, that's, of course, just those submarines. I don't think we have regular... Uh, any uh, larger fleets assigned there and we're trying to okay here we go this is a uh, actual fleet with some capital we know it's 42 ships with six capital ships we know there's a carrier at the very least uh, we have this uh, light cruiser uh, a, a light cruiser led uh, patrol fleet here it's attempting to identify them uh, and I think they're the only ones identifying them right now uh, so let's take a look at what they're rocking just destroyers and a light cruiser. Uh, so hopefully the uh, the task force will make its way over here and we can get these guys destroyed. Oh, you can see yeah, right here, this is them. Six, uh, it looks like one light cruiser, two battleships, three heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, 32 destroyers. Oh man, that's a large fleet. This is gonna be a big fleet action. We gotta pay attention to it when that thing pops up. I'm gonna miss it, I know it. We're gonna miss the big naval battle that we've been waiting for. We're not gonna have a lot of air support, if any. In fact, they might very well be right outside Yep, they might be right outside our region, unfortunately, so we might not get any naval support, uh, or air support, excuse me. Kind of unfortunate, because that's what I was really kind of relying on to defeat the Japanese. But we need to engage them. I'm not going to flee. We're going to fight them, guys. Uh, we do have a dock here to get assigned. Uh, let's continue putting into convoys right now, because uh, we need them. All right, so a lot of excitement going on here, guys, uh, with the Japanese invasion. I should probably take a look at this front real quick. Uh, and see if there's anything we need to do here. Uh, we're mostly just defending. Like, let them throw themselves against us. We wipe these divisions out over here. I think there's just a couple. Uh, but yeah, we're just mostly on the defense right now. Let them attack us. Throw, waste their their strength. Although, of course, China you're never going to waste their manpower. Uh, 
Yeah, and these guys are just tacking over here. We're still waiting for the rest of the troops to get down here to stop them. Uh, as long as they don't take that port, though, we're okay. Uh, as long as they don't get too far down. Uh, but they're cut off from supply right now, so they're in serious issues until they get a port. Uh, so we just need to keep them from, from doing that. Uh, these guys moved over here, which actually isn't a bad thing. Let them all move, and then we'll take their port. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let them go. I don't care. Uh, but we do want to stop these guys from, from advancing here, though. So we might need to attack them. Oh, there we go. There we go. They left themselves open, guys. So we might actually use this guy to attack forward. When does it take? How long? 20 hours. We're going to cut them off as well. Oh, this is going very, very well for us, guys. Yep, pretty well. Let's keep these guys here, actually. And I'm going to try and attack there, stop them from advancing. Remember, they're cut off. All right, they did get somebody there, unfortunately. That's a shame. All right, so we still do need to get, you know, beat them here. Uh, and, yeah, just can't advance on this front much. We just don't have the, the numbers. All right, yeah, let's just let that guy defend that. Let's get this wrapped up one thing at a time, guys. Uh, so we did take the port there. Let's go ahead and wipe these divisions out now, or try to. It doesn't look like we're having a lot of success on that. Uh, they're not, they haven't been cut off from supply long enough, unfortunately. Let's go and pull that back. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. All right. Uh, we have dockyards and factories to get assigned. We have uh, three dockyards. We also got a lot of naval experience, so we might have enough. I think it's 20-something uh, to build the next light cruisers. Yeah. Um, let's do another capital ship. I know that they're expensive, um, but I think it's fine. Let's do another South Dakota. Is there anything we want to modify on this before we start building another? Uh, I think, actually, yes, we want to get the next fire control. Yeah, tick up our strength a bit more. And I want to say... I want to say that's it. I don't think there's anything else we got that we could upgrade here. It's just the fire control systems. But even then, that's still... Is it worth it? Let's see here. Yeah, I would say... I would say so. I think it increases enough, especially that heavy attack. The heavy attack goes up quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's do historical battle cruisers. This is going to be the bees. And it's only a little bit of our experience, so it's three experience. It's not much. Let's go and change these up. And then we'll get the, the next, next battleships going. And we want them to deploy in the training fleet, of course. And then we'll put them right underneath the other South Dakotas. And just pump all of our dockyards into it. Steel is just such an issue, but luckily we're allies with the Soviet Union with their almost unlimited supply of steel. And also we need chromium. Alright, so did we... We didn't miss the battle. It looks like we weren't able to engage them. Alright, well that's a shame. Also, military factories. I always need more of these. Oh lord. Yeah, we are just stacked. In fact, we should probably be building troops. I said I was going to and then didn't. It's going to get this done. Uh, I guess we're just doing five. Five tanks then, because we're lacking... Oh, we're lacking infantry equipment. Oh. Okay. I didn't know we were that short on infantry equipment. Alright, well that's fine. Uh, we can... Just pump a bunch of factories into those. Let's do just 20 factories and infantry equipment. And we're going to want to make sure these guys are going to Texas. Get them training. And then probably should take a look at our training army. I'm sure the divisions are done. Yeah, we got a tank division currently done. So let's go and throw them into that extra army. Uh, we have these guys. We're going to send them. Uh, let's get them sent uh, over to... I guess we'll just put them in Hawaii right now. Yeah, for right now. And... Can we... Well, I guess we'll take a look see what we destroyed over here. Just some destroyers. I don't think we seize control. Yeah, we don't have control of either one of these regions right now. Alright, so still can't do the damn naval invasions. Ah, that's a damn shame. Alright, nothing else to be concerned with. Of course, we've got more convoys that we've sunk, so that's always good. Uh, oh, yes, our training uh, air wings. They're still training. We'll leave them there. Uh, actually, they're moving. That's right, we're moving them over to Japan. Get a little bit of assistance here. All right, so looking pretty good. Still waiting on the damn army, taking their damn sweet ass time getting here. Uh, we need them. Need you guys now. Uh, let's have these guys attack here. And I don't know if two divisions. Yeah, that wouldn't do anything. You just gotta wait for them to run out of supply right now. We do have to attack these guys here. Stop them from moving. This will allow us to hopefully get these guys here destroyed. How many divisions are we destroying here? I know that they might not all be here. It looks like we have at least five. At least five divisions that are going to get destroyed here. Excellent. Uh, and are they getting help? We are getting help. Okay. So we control the skies over Japan. Okay. So that is actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. Unfortunately, uh, we do have to end it here. 
Uh, made some solid progress though. We've got over half of Japan conquered. Uh, and we can just take a look at how long until they capitulate. Looks like Poland's also losing now. We'll have to take a look at the, the European front. Uh, Germany's now 21% towards capitulation. Uh, British Malaya's 24% or 34%, excuse me. Uh, Imperialist South Africa. Oh, they're losing. Oh, yes, that's right. That's the enemy. Uh, they're 30%. I thought they'd lost a lot more than that. Uh, Japan is 54% towards capitulation. Lost 1.41 million casualties. We've done 661,000 of that. We've only taken 93,000 ourselves. Uh, 54,000 of that was by the Japanese. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to look at other than, you know, casualties. You can see Germany's lost 2.65 million people. Uh, Great Britain, 2.07 million. So that's really bad for them. Let's just take a look at the uh, European front. Yeah, France is now advancing into Germany. All right, so they finally, they finally broke through. Uh, now France is advancing. Uh, Poland is now... Where are they losing territory? I'm not seeing where they lost their territory. Oh, okay, they lost territory over here. They're losing it to the Austria, Austria-Hungary. All right, they're pushing towards Warsaw. Soviets might have lost a little bit of territory here, but it looks like they gained territory there. Uh, so there's been that. Uh, and Asian Front is going much better for the Soviet Union as well. Yeah, definitely making a little bit of progress there. And... Uh, Looks like there's a naval invasion right here. An Aquitaine. All right, so that's the current situation, guys. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just, yeah, because the, the, they have Cape Town. That's the reason why they're still in it. Uh, South Africa's trying to complete this. The British have basically been knocked out of Africa for the most part. The one little province right there that might be a division or something. A little bit of territory left here, but essentially they have lost. Central Powers are losing, guys. It's almost over. But remember, even once we defeat the Central Powers, Britain, Germany, Japan, once they're all defeated, that is not campaign over. We've got to deal with these damn fascists in Europe. We can't allow this. We can't allow this. So that's um, the Italian faction and the French faction uh, that we'll have to deal with. And we can even deal with them one by one. Uh, France and Spain first, maybe. And then Italy and Austria-Hungary next. Because, uh, yeah, this is a, a monarchy, so therefore we can't have them here. Uh, can't allow any monarch monarchies, guys. Uh, and then we can't deal. We can't allow these fascists either. We've got to take care of them too. Uh, so after the central powers, we'll deal with those two factions. So we still got a lot of a lot of uh, uh, campaign left, guys. Even after the central powers capitulate. Uh, but yeah, we might get them defeated a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching.